So there's now that. Oh, right, yeah, to bounce against. Up into heaven. Um. Hmm. Okay, I'll just try bouncing here. Ooh. Ooh. Hmm. That keeps spawned there, didn't it? Yeah, it's a tube coming out there. Hmm. Why do I need to get up there? Oh, to get up to the exit, which presumably just opens on its own. So it looks like this is all there is to it, but what's that for? I don't know what that's for. That doesn't seem to be connected to anything. Hmm. I'm going to try bouncing off it just to see what it's for, because I have no idea. Oops, that one. Maximum run up. Boing! Boing! Okay. Well, I'm glad I pressed the wrong one, because otherwise I would have just flung myself over there. Hmm. How on earth do I get that? If I still edit on this... Oh, no. Oh? Oh, maybe. Maybe. No, no, I can't. Qu oh, that's that's cleverly done. So I can't actually hit that one. Ah, uh, see, look, I'm getting very close, but I can't actually hit it. And oh, I can drop shot it. Ah, oh, no, I can't because there's the roof. Ah, it's thought of everything in this one. That's quite clever. But I don't like how there are just random holes in the ceiling. I don't know how to get rid of that. I'm gonna have to. Yes, I know how to pick up a goddamn cube. Ugh. Hmm. Fuck's sake. No, I don't see. I don't see how this one's done. Oh, I need to change that so it's blue again at the end. Well, that was weird. If you shoot it directly in, it doesn't know quite what to do. Aha! Yep, no, I've got it now. I've got to be clever and tricky with this. So I bounce, and then while I'm flying over here, I get rid of that. Ah, oh, that's clever. Right, yeah, that took me a little while. Okay. And then I rub my face on that, if and you we're think free. You still experienced a negative emotion while testing? Fill out the appropriate submission form at the end of the test. Okay, where is it? I want to complain about Nigel. These stupid servo noises—they're distracting. Mm. A not so fun fact: the water in this test is recycled from the old test chambers we were solving a couple hours ago. I would still enjoy the mist. Our aperture science water filter and cleaning system destroy ninety nine point three percent of human waste. So if you took a toilet break early on, don't worry. There is practically none of your urine in the air. You know, we've only been here a couple of hours, so I don't think there was water in the early tests, at least not anything that looks as clean as this. Okay, so what do we have here? Very complicated series of switches. Uh, death grill that I need to fly through. Uh, cube receptacle. Why is he insisting on putting these bloody speakers everywhere? Hmm. Uh, yeah, I've got music very, very low. You might have noticed that. It's probably supposed to be able to hear it clearer. Um, anyway. So this one turns on that grill. I'm gonna guess I need to jump on that at some point. Uh, through here, there is the cube I need on the other side of this. Oh, I'm not sure. Hang. Can I stand on this? Yes, I can.
This isn't even slightly high enough. Damn. Hmm. Aha! There's the exit. So that's where I bounced to that, to the exit. Okay, right. Hmm. I haven't seen a cube, uh, a, a spherical cube. Hmm. I don't see one at all. But what does it do? Uh, it looks like it both turns off that grill and turns off that grill. Oh, but that cube is currently powering that portal. Oh yeah, that goes straight through, doesn't it? Is the new one going to come straight out of there? Yeah, it is. Okay. Hen. Hen. Oh, could I bounce across from that side? Yes, I can. With some clever bouncing. Ah! I said clever bouncing. Or just with this. You see, I was just thinking that. I almost said it, but I was just thinking. I wonder how many times they sort of tested until they had a percentage chance of landing on the, on the button. Because imagine if that cube landed like there. Or in some of the others where I had no way of affecting that cube. Hmm, it's interesting. I find it interesting. Um, blue the, the end, and what happens if I orange the cube? Seems nothing. Cool. Actually, can goo. Ah, yeah, that's a way of ungooing it. Stick it in the grill. Okay, so first things first, I've got to do that. I know it turns off the portal, but I need to know what's over here, apparently. Aha! Aha! Hmm. Hmm. How do I get that? You know, staring intently at me doesn't help. Jesus. Right. I'll try giving the ball. Yes, that worked. However... Yeah, I saw that coming. Ooh. Hang on, see if I can just... Yeah, enjoy cleaning that. Uh, I don't know how to get across there. Try orangef orangifying it. Maybe that'll have an effect. Nope, just made it spin faster when it hit the, the ground. I see, so I can't. Ah! No. No, it's hitting right in the middle there. Aha! If I goo that wall. Shit. Ah, oh, Christ. If I do as much of this wall as I can. It must be hitting the lower parts that aren't good. Yeah. Oh. Oh, I have an idea. Right. So for this, I need to goo the pathway. Like so. 
And now I repeat the trick where I catch it. <laughs> Whoops. That was not going to happen. Um, Nige, oh buddy, oh pal. Um, I broke your test. I don't think that's going to come back out. I have to commit suicide to fix his broken test. I wonder if I stick it in this, does it have an effect? Oh, I die anyway. Never mind. Right, I'm just going to test my theory before I just spend like half an hour trying to get it to work. See, what I'm thinking is if I jump down here. Oh, sorry, actually. Oh, no, that was right, yeah. So if I like bounce over here. No, I go through that. I can't quite bounce high enough. So what I was thinking is maybe I can bounce on top of this. And walk over the top to get to the exit. But that doesn't work. So there's obviously something I'm missing. Wait for it, wait for it. Ugh. Right, let's try doing this again. And this time, I'm gonna... Nope. Okay, that doesn't work. I was trying to, um... To sort of bounce off the, the wall below me onto that platform. Well, I managed to jump off of it, but nowhere near high enough, so that's definitely not how you're supposed to do this. Can I let go and quickly spread? Fuck. Can I, like, hold it down? Um. What? Could. I can spray while I'm holding it. Ah. Jesus. This seems to be a massive problem. I've been here for like 10 minutes trying to work out how to get this thing to bloody stay. The problem with these fan-made games it's a problem that pretty much all three of them have shown is that they don't explain things properly. <sighs> they just they try and use mechanics like in in uh, the time travel one with the these things are uh, uh, reverse gravity when they're on the ceiling or in Mel I'm sure there was something I don't remember off the top of my head and in this one you that you can spray while holding items they're not explained so you don't think you don't. Well, because you can't shoot portals when you're holding it, so why why would you be able to shoot this? Uh, fuck's sake. Oh, what? Oh, that turned into a death grill. That's awkward. New one, please. Thank you. Jeez, this happen is so fucking long. Oh, what? Oh. What? Right, I'll try spraying everything here this time. And that bit down there. Wait for the new cube. Boing. Ah, oh, crap. Ugh. Right, now this time I'll... I'll try and move 
so I keep the height. Oh Christ! Fuck's sake! Oh, well there there is a way back at least. I don't have to keep committing suicide and losing all my work. And through. Ah, oh, fucking button. I knew that you could bounce on the very edge of these. I told you. Oh. Oh, Christ, I lost the bounce. Wait. That's not... It's definitely not enough momentum. How the fuck are you supposed to get enough momentum? Because I'm supposed to fly out of there to there to carry me across. There's no way I can, like, bounce onto these. Because then I wouldn't get the distance up to there. This work? No, it would not. Uh yeah. That image looks a bit like the... Oh, right, okay, now I see it now. I thought that image looked familiar. It's a variation of the... Uh, the, the one where you... You, uh, like, f fly between portals. So I think what I have to do... Spray the top and the bottom of this. Get rid of that. And then when that fizzles, eventually, it's taking a sweet bloody time, a new one will come down. And then... Yeah, that gives me enough momentum. Fucking hell. This one was just... If Shut my up. calculations are right, you came into contact with 0 0.21 milliliters of your own pee. See? It's insignificant. Great scientific progress is what we do here. Enjoy passing through this gate, yeah. Gonna bounce straight off it. You're trapped here, in the urine room. This this room was really annoying. It took me freaking ages, mostly because it just didn't explain things, like that bouncing increases momentum. I know it's sort of a thing from portal that somehow bouncing did slightly increase momentum but it was mostly the spray while holding things that was not explained at all fucking hell getting irritated again this chamber only uses the blue gel but don't let that get to you this is one of our toughest puzzles whoever designed this has evil intentions and no mercy at all but I am sure you will do just fine. Oh, this is the space one. You know, that they're not called blue and orange gel. They're called uh, propulsion and repulsion. Repulsion's the bouncy one. And propulsion is the zoomy one. That's just what they're called. Ah! Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Okay. Is that... No, oh, I thought that was cake. It's not cake. Oh look, it's Earth! Somehow is immune. Look at the blue sky! See, this is why the sky's blue on Earth. It's not because of, you know, reflecting the ocean or any crap like that. It's because someone sprayed blue gel on it. Sorry, repulsion gel. Why is it giving me tutorials on how to press fucking buttons? I know how to press buttons. What about everything? Is everything like, in front of it? No? So it's just Earth. Okay. Uh, what about this star? Oh. Okay. Hmm. If I put this on there, then that's permanently going that way. Uh, this is difficult simply because I can't use the, the goo on the floor at all. 